A man accused of robbing and raping a woman inside her Stanislaw County home appearing in court today. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Eric Harriman and I'm Nikki Lorenzo. Deputies say the victim hired the man as a handyman and he worked at her home for several months before the attack and deputies say they're concerned there may be other victims out there. Fox 40's Christy Gross live in Modesto with what happened in court. Christy. Nikki, after being in, arraigned in court this afternoon, that suspect is back here tonight at the Stanislaus County Detention Center. Jose Luis Ramos Rivera is accused of breaking into a woman's home, sexually assaulting her at gunpoint, and then stealing her credit card. It's an absolute uh, violation of, of a person's the sanctity of their home. Sergeant Luke Schwartz with the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Office says they responded to a call of a woman being assaulted in her own home around 7.30 Friday morning. Through the course of that follow-up investigation, we were able to identify the responsible individual that afternoon and make an arrest take this individual into custody. Deputies say the woman reported waking up to the sound of someone in her home, then seeing a man wearing a mask holding a gun entering her bedroom. The woman told authorities the man tied her up, choked her, raped and sexually assaulted her, then told her not to call police when he left. It happened to be someone that she had done business with previously. Deputies say the woman hired Rivera as a handyman who worked on her home for several months. At the time, she took a photo of his license, which helped in the investigation. We were fortunate in this, in this incident that we were able to identify the responsible so quickly and, to, and safely take them into custody to make Stanislaus County a safer community. So courageous when somebody comes forward and talks about such a traumatic incident. Stephanie Barraza with Haven, an organization that advocates for sexual assault survivors, says it was brave of the woman to come forward in this case. It takes so much vulnerability to, you know, come forward and say, hey, you know, this occurred to me and now, you know, I don't want it to happen to somebody else. Haven provides services to survivors. We meet them where they're at in terms of what they want to do. Deputies say it's possible there are other victims. However, they aren't releasing Rivera's mugshot because they say it could compromise future investigations. We urge them to come forward and talk to our detectives so we can make sure that uh, he's held accountable. Barraza has a message for all survivors who feel isolated. You are not alone. Nobody deserves to go through something like that, and you don't have to heal by yourself. There are, you know, there is a community out there that can lend a hand. Court documents show Rivera is facing multiple charges, some of which include rape, home invasion, and other sexual assault charges. Live in Modesto, Christy Gross, Fox 40 News.